from for all places at Code UK, and with the launch of the 2015 F50 by Adidas, we're going through the history of the F50 Adidas Zero. The F50 was first launched in 2004, and prior to the Adidas Zero releases, the three stripes launched several generations of tunic boots. Prior to the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, Adidas launched their first ever Adidas Zero, which replaced the F50i tunic silo launched a year earlier. The name Adidas Zero, which remains today, combines Adidas's name with the Zero, referring to the boots being super lightweight. The boot weighed 165 grams and at the time it was the lightest football boot on the market. It featured a wire footbed, a triangular stud configuration, sprint web and a super thin and soft sprint skin microfiber upper. There was also a heavier leather version available. There were three launch colorways which were headlined by the likes of Leo Messi, David Villa, Ian Robin and Jermaine Defoe in the tournament in South Africa. Adidas launched over 15 colorways for the original Adidas Zero. Several months later, in early 2011, Adidas launched an additional version of the F50 Adidas Zero dubbed the Prime, which weighed an incredible 20 grams lighter than the standard Adidas Zero, weighing in at 145 grams, and it raised the standard for lightweight speed boots. The Prime featured a super thin and lightweight synthetic upper dubbed 80 Twin Light, light Kevlar laces, and a sprint frame outsole. Adidas produced over seven prime colorways, including the anodized purple, warning black, and electricity additions. In the same year, Adidas launched a new F50 Adidas Zero, which was the first boot to feature the lucrative MyCoach technology, which captures 360 degrees movements, calculating speed, number of sprints, distance covered, and much more. This Adidas Zero weighed 148 grams, which again made it the lightest boot on the market, and it featured a super lightweight sprint skin upper, sprint web, and the sprint frame outsole. 13 colorways were launched for this Adidas Zero, including the McDonald's, Silver Orange, Blue Red 2012 Euro, and Black Orange editions. In December 2012, Adidas launched their second generation MyCoach Adidas Zero, which was again headlined by Lionel Messi. Weighing 165 grams, the boot features similar technologies to the original MyCoach edition, including sprint skin, sprint web, and sprint frame, but with a completely revamped design. An additional textured layer was applied to the upper for better control at high speeds. Key colorways included the launch yellow black, electricity, infrared, and red white editions. In November 2013, Adidas launched their 2014 F50 Adidas Zero, which was worn by Adidas players at the 2014 World Cup. Weighing just 150 grams, the two launch F50s included the Solar Blue and Solar Zest Samba editions. The boots technology was revamped from the previous generation, boasting a new hybrid touch and speed for upper system, dribble text grip layer, and a new style configuration dubbed Speed Traction. Over a year later, Adidas launched their 2015 edition of the F50 Adidas Zero, which was launched as part of their There Will Be Haters campaign. The new F50 scrapped the speed foil system and uses an all-over one-piece hybrid touch upper and a new 3D 360 degrees dribble text system. A track spike inspired style configuration is used, while the MyCoach cavity has also been left out. The new F50 was launched in a solar red colorway, with additional silver, black and green colorways to be launched by the three straps. The new F50 will be worn by the likes of Luis Suarez, Gareth Bale, James Rodriguez, Diego Costa and Karim Benzema. Check out our history of the Adidas personalized football boots range for Lionel Messi himself. If you want your own F50, check out our page on footballboots.co.uk. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see more boot histories like this. Please tell us which F50 was your favourite in the comments below and as always, we'll see you next time.